Hello and welcome to day 28 of my 31 day acrylic pour challenge. Can't believe it's already day 28. Um, so I am doing the bloom technique today and that I've been working on it for a while before camera so I could see if I could do it and um, I will show you my other ones after I do this one. So the colors I'm using, I got some colors yesterday, super excited. I'm using pink tourmaline extra sheen. I got some color shift from folk art. So this is um, green flash by folk art. This one is blue violet flash. And the last color is uh, turquoise brilliant, aqua flash, sorry, aqua flash. So, those all have color shift stuff, except for the extra sheen. That's just super, super shimmery. So, there's, it's very, very different from my normal pores. Lots of different ingredients. There's a pillow base, then there's the colors, and then there's a cell activator. Um, and those all have different ingredients. The base is house paint. Um, and I just used a Walmart brand house paint, white. Um, and then the colors I mix with, um, it's a high gloss um, enamel base paint, uh, house paint, mixed with um, polyacrylic um, varnish. And then I mix the paint in with, with it. And then the cell activator has Floetrol, Glue, um, Liquitex, or Amsterdam acrylic ink, uh, wood canister, and Amsterdam white acrylic paint. So it's very involved. So let me tell you, it's definitely not for the faint of heart. So I'm doing it small. This is just a four by four tile. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing, and I'm not as happy with my results so far because um, I'm not getting big cells, but I'm still working on it. So I'm getting a little bit more information as I go along, which is one of the reasons why everybody recommends that you go start small until you really get it. A lot of people use a spinner to get it to, to stretch. I haven't gotten my spinner out yet. So I will probably try that um, in the near future. I just haven't yet. So I just spread my house paint, which I put in a smaller container. And then I'm just gonna put some drops of my paint in the middle. And put a lot, and I'm gonna do something a little different than I've been doing. There's so many people that have done different recipes for their, um, for their, it's called the Shelly Bloom Art, uh, Shelly Art Bloom Technique. Um, so there's Shelly's version, which, um, I don't know her version. She's also in uh, Europe. So they have different ingredients available there. Um, so this one is actually the recipe I'm using is from Canela Siraco. She is in Canada, but all the, the, the ingredients that she talked about, I can get here. So I'm using her recipe. Um, and We'll see how it goes. And then there's the cell activator. And this is what creates some fun uh, cells. So I'm just gonna put that all around there. So I don't know if I'm doing enough or too little or what, we'll see. But you're supposed to blow carefully and uh, slowly and then you're supposed to you can spin it or whatever so we'll see 
how this one turns out. My other ones are okay. They just don't have tons of huge cells, so we'll see. So I don't know if you can see them, but there's some really cool cells going on here. So then what we do is we tilt it around. I'm actually gonna move my stand out of the way so it doesn't get all. Let's see. Move it to kind of stretch the cells out. back there do get that off all right this is actually turning out better than my some of my other ones so that's good. There's some more cells going on, more cell action. I'm gonna lose that one, I really like that one, but we're gonna lose it, it's okay. And I will bring you down when I'm done this one and I will show you all four of the ones that I've done. Sorry, I'm trying to get this to go down. And once I get it more perfected, I guess, I will do, I can totally do a tutorial if people are interested on what I do. Um, So we'll see, cause I made enough stuff to definitely do this again. So we'll see, but I love the colors. The colors are really great. All right, so I'm gonna leave that after I pour this down a little bit and get rid of that. Definitely not easy and so <laughs> incredibly messy. But I'm super glad that I did it because I am getting some really great um, different funkinesses out of it. And so, yeah. Um, okay, I will pause this and bring you down for a close up. Okay, here are my four different designs that I did. So this is one I just barely did with you on camera. So there's some gorgeous colors there. And these are the different cells that they're talking about for this Shelly Bloom, Shelly Art Bloom technique. So there's this is just going to be super gorgeous when it's dry with all the color shift and everything. So then this one... Let me think. I think this one was the first one I did, which isn't too bad, actually. And I can't remember which order I did it in. And I did this one. This was the first or second. I can't remember. So I still got some cells going and looks pretty good. And then I did this one. I was a little frustrated with, but it still had some really cool cells in, created some fun stuff. And then my fourth one, which I'm getting better, that's for sure. So that is the Shelly Art Bloom technique. And I definitely want to try it again. I have a whole bunch of more color shift <laughs> colors that I got. And um, yeah, this is my, my mess right now. I switched over to my extra drying section right here. So tomorrow... 
I'll be doing something else fun. Um, definitely out of my comfort zone as well, but it will be super fun. And we only have three more to record, so we'll see what happens with my the rest of my stuff. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.